This is an update on my squash. I grew two and 18 gallon totes. And later on I added another tote with uh, yellow, or excuse me, early straight neck yellow squash. But this first one is a Zucchino Romanesco. I got it from Italian Seed. And it's a zucchini. And you can see here, I believe I've got this particular one and this one over here pollinated and it has grown I'll take you up here and you can see where I have trimmed all the leaves off growing up and it is vined and it is continuing to produce like mad look at all the little babies in there coming around here and growing up and it is continuing and I think this is the way I'm going to do it. Just do it in the greenhouse and do it this way. But that means I have to hand pollinate. Uh, but it is so much better for me because I don't have to worry about bugs, powdery mildew, and lots of other things. And this one is the hybrid Zephyr. And I'm taking you up this stalk. And you can see I've done pretty much the same thing. And it looks like I was successful in getting this one to poll uh, this one here pollinated. And looking in here, you got little babies all the way up and um, aggressive, fast grower. This one is not pollinated. I can tell it's already starting to dry up, wither. Now this had branching everywhere and i mean there was probably eight branches off of this one and a couple off of the zucchini over there and you can see even here that there's branching and there's a couple little baby squashes there and some a little nub here but this thing consistently tries to branch and i did i went i cut all the branches off especially this big lower one that was growing over into the uh, peppers over there because I want it to focus and grow up and not get wild and bushy But I think one of the side effects of cutting all the branches off constantly is it induces branching Same with this really neat just thought I'd give you an update um, Going at my height This level right here they are my height so this Taking into account the distance of the buckets there, sitting on the gutter, uh, the 18-gallon uh, totes, these things are already six foot tall, and they don't show any sign whatsoever of stopping. The leaves are extremely healthy, extremely healthy, beautiful color on both of them, uh, no damage, and. Uh, just just beautiful plants and I would have never thought you could do that with squash over here are my yellow early straight neck that are starting to come on you can see I've tied them to the string already so that's an update with my squash